how easy is that? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews and welcome to the sunshine. This is the first day of proper sunshine in the UK, it's glorious and what a perfect day to perform a review of the Carbonio number plate bracket system. Now any supercar owner will know we hate fitting number plates to the front of our supercars. Really they're not really designed to have number plates on the front. Ferrari, especially on the 458, didn't really design the 458 to have a number plate system fitted. There is no real placement to fit a number plate. Yeah, you can drill these front sections and bend the plate around, but it looks awful. And sticking a number plate on this section is actually illegal. You can't use sticks stuck on number plates. Now this review has come at a very pertinent time. Um, the law has always been the fact that you need to have a number plate on the front of your car in the UK, whatever car you're driving. The police in the UK have been a lot more vigilant regards to this. They've been told to crack down on incorrectly configured number plates and cars that don't have number plates um, actually installed to the front and of course the rear but it's always the front where the number plates aren't installed to. So the Carbonio number plate bracket system is the system commonly used by supercar owners to install a number plate to the front of their cars. This is because Carbonio pretty much designed this style of concept of using this type of quick install and quick release bracket system and other third parties have actually copied this design. So I've had a unit from Carbonio and this unit I've been provisioned free for review. So full declaration, um, this unit has been provided free to provide a review video for the Carbonio unit, but I am gonna be objective about this. So I will give you a full detailed review on my perception of the unit. Now this review is gonna be broken down into three sections. The first section is going to be me explaining the simplistic thing you'd think of attaching the number plate to the Carbonio bracket. The second part is going to be us showing you how the actual bracket system fares while we're driving along, um, fairly spirited driving. So you can see if the number plate bracket system fares quite well while we're driving along with regards to being buffeted and if, it's, if it moves around, if it's likely to come off. Because from what I've seen on the internet, there's no video actually showing how well these systems fare when they're on the car. Obviously they're clamped on there. So if they have enough stress on them, potentially because they're a clamp based system, they could fall off. Let's see. So the first part of this video is going to be detailing how I attach the number plate to the bracket system. Now this bracket system is installed to the bottom part of the 458. Different versions of the Carbonio bracket system installed to different sections. For example, with the 458 Speciale, it's actually installed to the middle section because it doesn't have this bottom section on, on the 458 Speciale. And it's actually attached, attached to the middle section. There's a middle pillar that goes down, a horizontal pillar there. And it's attached by spring-loaded and like um, cables that, that clip to the sides. The Carbonio bracket style used for the 458 is the most common system that's used by supercar owners. So this is the version that I'm gonna review. Now the bracket system installs very easily. I've got it installed to the car at the moment. I'll show you how I remove it. You literally just pull it forward, push back, and that's it. I mean, that must've taken what, three seconds? And I was being very careful because Obviously, I don't want to mark the car, and even though my car's fully PPF, that's you know still going to be careful. And I'm very pedantic. You viewers, you know I'm pedantic, so I'm going to be very careful. So I'm not going to fit any unit that I'm going to be concerned about scratching my car. Now to install the Carbonio unit, again, very simple. You just put the rear bracket to the back, obviously place it so it's central, pull it forward, the two front brackets fit over the front, that's it. A few seconds. So this is a great bracket number plate system for quickly installing the number plate to the car um, so that you don't have to have the number plate installed to your car all the time. So if you want to take the car to car shows, which of course you know that we do a lot with our 458, then you can, you can drive the car to the car show. You can be legal while you're driving the car with the number plate installed to the car. Then when you get to the car show, you literally pull the bracket forward like that and that's it. Stow it away in your front of your car, in the front car compartment of your car. Nice and easy. What could be easier? To put it back on, again, just show you again, centrally align it, pull it forwards, bang, there you go. I mean, it does not get any easier than that. And this is a light unit as well. This unit, this unit is, is very light. It's, um, it's, I believe it's made out of, of either stainless steel or aluminium. 
And the, the benefit is as well, the mechanism that is implemented for bracketing it to the car is all designed to be underneath the bracket system. So you do not see anything. It's not visible to the eye from the front. People will notice looking at the back of this bracket system that I haven't installed it to the top. I haven't installed the number plate to the top or to the bottom. There's a good reason for that. I've actually installed it. It looks fairly central, but it isn't. It's a bit offset from the vertical position. I thought about this quite a lot. And as, again, as you know, I'm quite pedantic about these things. I wanted to make sure, number one, that the number plate wasn't going to reduce the front, the front height of the car with, reg with regards to this causing any additional scraping. So I didn't want the front number plate to be any lower to cause any constraints. Therefore, um, I didn't want the number plate to catch on the front. But I also didn't want the lower part of this bracket system showing when you're looking at the front of the car. So it's a case of getting it just at the right height. So it's covering the front bracket system from the front of the car, but also not too low. So it's potentially reducing the ride height of the front of the car. My car's got lift, but why, you know, why not take a, why take a chance? You might as well do it properly in the first place. So how did I do that? I had to think about it. It's actually very, very simple. What I did was I just installed the bracket. Obviously the number plate wasn't on the bracket at the time. I installed the bracket to the car. And then as you can see, I held a long builder's spirit level underneath the bottom of the car. And as you'll see, the bottom of the car actually projects up slightly at the front. So I kept that motion forward um, with, with regards to the spirit level actually catching to the bottom of the bracket. And I made sure that the, the number plate actually sat and on the same angle, which is inclining towards the top of the, of the line of where the bracket would be. So projected that in effect, I projected that slope line forward and attached the number plate to the front of that slope line where it would be positioned in that forward facing position. So we're inside the car now and we've positioned two cameras close to the Carbonio bracket unit so we can show two different angles of how the Carbonio bracket performs while we're driving. So this is gonna be a sort of stress analysis if you like and I'm gonna perform some live telemetry while we're driving while I'm actually reviewing the live telemetry of the cameras on the, on the Carbonio bracket system. Before we perform the assessment, it's very important to establish that Carbonio are the inaugurator of this bracket design and of this bracket system. If there's any copies out there, then they are copies. Um, Car Carbonio actually inaugurated this system. They designed this system, especially the spring-loaded mechanism um, that is implemented to restrain the bracket of the Carbonio unit onto vehicles. Also, when purchasing the Carbonio unit, even if you're purchasing internationally, all the costing is put into the actual checkout while you're purchasing the item. So all taxes, all costs are calculated on the website so that when you actually purchase the item, that's the end price you're paying. There's no additional taxes. There's no additional VAT. There's no in additional import duty, which is, which is very important because then you can make a decision there and then that you're happy with purchasing the unit. So the Carbonio bracket system is manufactured in North America. It's manufactured from premium materials. Um, you can tell that by the actual design of the unit and by the by the fact it's lightweight but durable and it's uh, the lightweight it being lightweight obviously is a requirement for when you you're continually putting on and taking off the unit if that's what you're doing when you're taking the car to shows etc in addition carbonia provide an unlimited mileage warranty on the unit as well which is exceptional and they really put in their their name behind the device that's great because that provides you great confidence when purchasing the item so let's go forward now with the driving assessment so we can see how the carbonia unit performs under the stress of normal normal everyday driving with a supercar so you join us on the drive to Marlborough, a beautiful little Wiltshire town where we commonly go to get a coffee. So as you can see, we've got a camera attached to the front of the car right next to the number plate. So we can see exactly how the number plate is performing while we're driving along. As you can see, as expected, the, there's no issue with the number plate. There's a slight bit of buffeting, as you'd expect with it being moved in the wind, but it's very solidly fixed to the front of the car. There's no way that number plate's coming off. As you can see, I'm just going to drop it down a bit while we're on part of a fast section of road. As you can see, absolutely no issue at all. We're monitoring inside the car the footage, and as you can see, there's no issue regarding the number plate. It's solid as anything. 
nobody likes to fit a number plate to the front of a supercar, as I mentioned earlier. It ruins the lines of a supercar. We're in times now where the police have been told to be very vigilant, and at the end of the day, you shouldn't be breaking the law. You should have a number plate on the front of your car. With regards to fitting a number plate and for show use, this is as good as it gets. The Carbonio unit, you can literally install it in seconds and remove it in seconds. Nice and easy, nice and practical. Keep it in the front of the car and keep it in the front compartment of your supercar. Take it out. When you want to go anywhere, pop it onto the front of the car as I've shown. When you get to a show or any event where, you're, where you don't want the number plate to be shown and you're on private land, just unclip the number plate nice and easy, take seconds. Your number plate stays attached to the front bracket of the Carbonio, so there's no need to remove and attach that again. With regards to fixings on the front, it's an adhesive fixing for European number plates. For American number plates, and for various particular states in America, you can screw your number plate to it, and it actually has threaded holes with captive nuts on the front fascia plate so you can screw your number plates to the front if you need to. So they cover up all areas. And the 3M tape that they provide for the European market that I've used to attach my number plate to the front is as solid as anything. You know, I can't pull that off. Without, take, put in, using, without using an awful lot of energy, I couldn't pull the front number plate off the bracket. So there's no way that's coming off. It's a very sturdy unit, very practical solution. drive in the summer. Such a great car. Drive down these twisty roads in the countryside. Having not been able to drive the car for quite a few months now due to it being in winter storage. In my previous video when I was comparing the 993 and the 458, I was talking about how the 458 corners like it's on rails. And again today taking the car out is even more evident. It just sticks to the road. It's just a fantastic driving experience. I mean, what is there not to like about a foot by the heat? So we've taken some footage now um, with the camera on the front of the car and you can see that the, the, the Carbonio unit is very stable. There's no issues, that's not going anywhere, it's not going to come off. Um, so the actual fitment to the car and it's designed for fitment to the front of the car is very good. So no issues there at all whatsoever. So while we're stopped, I just wanted to take a, take a few minutes just to talk to you about the actual design of the Carbonio bracket system. It's powder coated, so it's very resilient, it's not going to rust and it's made of lightweight material. The front of the, the front fascia of the Carbonio unit has, um, as I've detailed in the car, has these 3M stickers on the front or has 3M adhesive on the front. And I think it's double-sided tape. So in effect, you can fit your front number plate to the front of the Carbonio bracket fascia and it's not gonna go anywhere. That's for European and rest of the world fitment. For, for American fitment in many states, you actually have drilled number plates. I think they call them some sort of identity tags or something, but. I've, 
but anyway, in effect, number plates. So those registration plates will screw to the carbonio unit. And the carbonio unit actually has threaded holes with captive nuts. So it makes it nice and easy to actually fit your front number plates in America to the front of the unit as well. The unit has a spring mechanism that provides its capability to clamp onto the front of the car. If I just pull the unit off here, you can see on the front here. And again, a couple of seconds to take off. See, the unit is very well padded interior. The spring-loaded bracketing system actually has the springs underneath the bracket system. So it's totally away from your car, so you can't damage your car in any way, shape, or form. It's nice and easy. It literally just works on a, on a compression system with the springs. So you put it against the springs to be able to then fit it, and it clamps against your car. There's, there's nylon sleeves here, nylon plastic sleeves here that go over these screws. They enable some, if you like, lubrication. So the Carbonio bracket system, when you open and close it, it slides without catching at all. That is a design that the other copy bracket systems do not have. So again, it's best to go with the original. They designed it on the car. I suspect the other systems designed it against this system as opposed to designing it on the car. So again, those nylon sleeves add like a lubrication. So it's nice and smooth when you install and uninstall the bracket system. So it means that you can just literally just put a bracket in like so, pull it up and fit it. You haven't got to try and get under there with two hands. You can imagine if you had a system where it was catching, you'd be under there trying to hold it, trying to pull it apart. You'd be on your hands and knees. You might have a suit on with nice trousers. I'm just wearing jeans. And so you could get, you know, damage your clothing and all sorts, you know. So. It just makes such a difference just to be able to fit it and remove it. Seconds. What's that taking me? Probably two seconds. I mean, how easy is that? <laughs> Could not be easier. So that's the Carbonio number plate bracket system. Definitely a thumbs up from me. In addition, you can see where the Carbonio bracket fits to the car. It's not causing any obstructions with the, with the parking sensors as well. So it's not trying to cover up any parking sensors with any of its attachment systems. It's just nice and simple over the bottom of the car. And also, I think it's fair to say it's not going to cause any aerodynamic um, limitations either because you've got the winglets here, which act on, which um, have pressure exerting on the outside, which, which, aids, which aids downforce and allows the air to be directed underneath the car as well. It's not impacting any of the airflow through, through the winglets. It's just literally nice and simple on the front. With a small number plate like mine especially, it's taking a very small footprint. Obviously, it can take the full length number plates as well if you've got a normal, normal length number plate, no problem whatsoever. So with regards to the style of number plate brackets, my recommendation is definitely the Carbonio unit, no problem at all. And for me, where the car's commonly on display and I don't necessarily want a number plate on it, You've got the best of both worlds. You can use the Carbonio bracket number plate system when you're driving to an event to make sure the car's legal. And then as soon as you get to the event, take it off, whack it in your luggage compartment, nice and easy. So the sun's sort of come out to close out the video. It's been on and off today, um, but it's the first nice day we've had of the year so far. Well, it's the first day out driving the 458, so it's been great to be able to do a review of the Carbonio number plate bracket system for you. If you'd enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Great future content to come, and we'll catch you in the next video, guys.